The Central African Republic is due to hold a constitutional referendum tomorrow that could extend the president's term. The country, with 5.5 million people, has struggled for stability since independence in 1960. Another round of fighting broke out in 2013 after Francois Bozizé was ousted by the Seleka rebellion. First elected in 2016, President Fosin Tuadera won re-election in 2020 and is pushing for a new constitution. If passed, it would allow him to run again. A number of armed groups and opposition parties have rejected the draft, saying that it allows Tuadera to extend his mandate expiring in 2024. CGTN's Robert Nagila reports. Voters in the Central African Republic will head back to the polls to vote for a new constitution on July 30th, seven years after they voted for an interim constitution in 2015. Current President Faustina Changa Twadera was elected the following year in 2016 and won a second five-year term in 2020. President Twadera announced the referendum in May this year. But the poll, according to experts, has been heavily criticized by opposition groups and civil society who see the exercise as an attempt to extend executive power. According to the, to the CAR authorities, uh, this referendum expresses uh, the will of the population uh, uh, who wants to, to, to have a new constitution which fits better the actual uh, situation of the country. But uh, for the political opposition, um, this referendum uh, is just a mean uh, for the authorities to allow uh, President Tuadera to run for a third term and to strengthen his, its power. Among the proposals in the draft are an extension of presidential terms from five to seven years and the removal of a two-term limit. The draft was made public early this month and there are concerns from civil society. It doesn't leave enough time for civic education and public participation. There are also security concerns outside the capital, Bangui, and it remains to be seen if the government can conduct the poll throughout the country. There, there are still some armed groups uh, in the country, but um, they have been weakened um, first by the counter-offensive uh, launched by the Central African Army and Wagner in 2021. Um, these armed groups reorganized at the end of 2022 and uh, stepped up uh, attacks on the territory using uh, new methods such as homemade drones equipped with explosives. However, the presence of these armed groups in the center of the country at least has been weakened and is now more concentrated near the border with Chad, Sudan and Southern Sudan. In 2015, voter turnout for the constitutional poll was 38 percent. President Tuadera says the new poll is essential for the country to forge a new path away from its past. Whether his countrymen agree with him will be evident once the results are announced. Bobat Nagina, CGTN, Bangui, Central African Republic.